So as usual, I'm looking on YouTube through different day of eating videos, vegan videos to see what I wanted to talk about. And all I could find this week was vegans replicating meat products from pork rinds to egg salad to meatballs. And, and I, I thought it was just too much. Um, and, and we've talked about this girl before, Hale Burns. And, and I'll be honest, like if I was, you know, desperate, like I didn't jerk off for 10 hours, hey, I might... I might go for some of these lovely vegan ladies, but um, if, if I was in a, a correct state of mental clarity, I think that would be on the back burner. But um, let's get started and see how we make the vegan barbecue pork rinds. Here's how to make vegan barbecue pork rinds. You'll need a few sheets of rice paper, cut them in half, and into smaller sections. They should look like this. You wanna hear your real voice. Now heat up some oil and fry your sheets. We wanna hear it. And then make your seasoning mix. So we're frying You'll rice paper, paper in pepper, vegetable seed oil. Celery salt, ground mustard, onion powder, garlic powder, Putting a dozen salt. seasonings on it to make it taste okay. Throw these in a bag, add your seasoning, and shake. Same satisfaction you get from a pork rind, but no pig. <laughs> Same satisfaction you get from a pork rind. How is that even possible? It's rice paper and seasonings when pork rinds are super high in fat and they have some protein. We call this papad in India and it's a very popular size snack. Is that why everyone in India is so short? Do you have a cookbook or website? Because the more I watch you, the more I want your resume. This has got to be a fake comment. One, because th there's like two ingredients in that recipe the rice paper and the seasoning components oh god this is this is ridiculous we call this chicharron in hispanic culture but this looks so good <laughs> are, they, are her subscribers real are these real views this is ridiculous this is so good i hate pork rinds but this looks so good the, all right here we got we got some real real dudes in the chat vegan pork rinds <laughs> oh my god this is this is insane. This is insane. This is actually pretty funny. So next up is egg salad. And look, I get it. When they start making like vegan burgers and vegan pizza, you can you can kind of give them a little bit of crap. But when they start doing pork rinds and egg salad, it's getting a bit crazy. You can tell their their brain is craving more and more of that sweet, sweet cholesterol. To <laughs> The best vegan egg salad. First is the tofu. I like to use a combination of soft and medium tofu because I find it just gives the best texture is that for this dish. Moderate and then if you high want, you can definitely content? throw in some firm tofu. It would change it up a bit, but I'm sure it would be great as well. Just play around. Do we need to vary the estrogen release throughout the day so we want to uh, play with vegan boys at all times? And find the texture that you like. So I'm using about a half a block of each. So half a block of medium, half a block of soft tofu. So go ahead and add those to a good sized mixing bowl. This is where we're gonna be adding all of the ingredients and mixing it up. So I'm usually more of a firm or extra firm tofu kind of guy. It just works better for what I like to cook with it. I like the texture better. Uh, and it's also more concentrated in protein. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it's kind of an interesting fact about. You know, I think the vegan girls like it firm or extra firm too, but uh, judging from what I've seen, uh, well, I guess the vegan boys don't like girls and they can't provide the extra firm status. Tofu, the firmer it is, the more protein it has. Uh, but this is like the only dish that I use soft and medium tofu for. And I'm always just like left with half a package of soft and medium tofu. I guess I could make this again, but if you guys have any suggestions, put them in the comments down below because I would love to hear what else I could use this stuff for. Next, add one tablespoon of vegan mayonnaise. So here I'm using veganaise. So I suppose you could make this without this, but it's not going to be as good. I've tried. It's just like not as good. But again, uh, this is. So this is actually two of the worst ingredients from a health perspective we see that vegans eat. You have tofu, which is like highly oxidized soy, protein, and fat, high in linoleic acid, incredibly incredibly inflammatory, full of estrogens and chemicals. Same with this veganase. It's based around vegetable seed oils and chemicals. If you were going to combine two foods that would make you as sick as possible, <laughs> these would be the two. 
This is the only dish that I use this for. However, it does last like a long time in the fridge. Just stick it in the back and when I think about making this, just pull it out and it's always there for me. Next, you wanna chop up a stalk of celery and you wanna chop it up nice and fine. We're not making like a garden salad here and like that. We're making an egg salad. So you want it to be nice and dainty and delicate. Then some dill pickle. Just Again, like you, chop buddy. it up nice and small. Feel free to add more if you want, but uh, I think this is just a perfect amount. Chop up some green onion. So obviously you could use chives or another type of onion for this. So this isn't totally necessary. Of course, you could just use regular salt. You're not gonna get that sort of eggy taste, but uh, this is kind of a nice thing to have in the cupboard. So if you guys can find it, go ahead and get yourself some. It'll last for a long time. Uh, and again, this is like the only thing I use this for, um, but it's like great to have on hand. And uh, if you guys can't find it, look in like ethnic groceries. It's like um, it's like this Indian black salt or something. It's like a sulfur. Uh, when we made our uh, vegan fried egg video like a year or two ago, which you guys have to watch if you haven't seen it, I bought some of that. And I'm remembering that because I just threw it out of my cabinet the other week because I, I never used it for anything else. But he's trying to replicate that, that like sulfury flavor of the eggs with these uh, concoctions stores so uh, they use it a lot in like Indian cooking I find it in the international foods aisle at Superstore here in Canada so uh, yeah that might help you on your hunt then a half a teaspoon of turmeric so this is gonna be mainly for color uh, we're not exactly trying to impart the turmeric flavor into this dish but I find a half a teaspoon is just enough to give it some good color but not too much of that turmeric flavor feel free to add more if you want turmeric is this is a thing that I don't like that a lot of uh, food companies do and it's not specifically with vegan foods, but they'll add some type of like pigment or coloring just to make the food look more like it's supposed to. But the flavonoids and compounds in that coloring are actually harmful and damaging to the body, to the liver. And it's a big reason why I can't eat like, I would say 60 to 70% of the, of the packaged foods in you know um, an organic market like Whole Foods is solely because of all of the ingredients they're adding to make it colored. It's not necessary, just leave it. It's an extremely healthful herb or spice or root, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it got so many different benefits. I mean, we know that it's a powerful antioxidant, helps with inflammation, uh, can help with pain. It's great for people with arthritis. It can help with certain degenerative like brain diseases. <laughs> well, well, buddy, is it going to antioxidize your hairline back into place? And apparently you got some sort of crooked brain disease uh, because of how long you've been following this diet. So maybe you need to up your turmeric intake. Uh, there's so many reasons why we should be cons consistently <laughs> consuming turmeric. So yeah, get it in you. However, we know that you can't get the most out of turmeric unless you have it with its best friend, black pepper. So add a pinch of black pepper to this and we know that they work synergistically in order to help. <laughs> they work synergistically to stress your liver. That's what they do. The curcumin that's in the turmeric, which is the active ingredient doing all those amazing things. that's getting oxidized So that's your it, liver it's cells. that easy. So now all you wanna do is just mix it up. Oh, it's so crazy how much it actually like looks like egg salad. It's pretty wild. So it's ready to go right now. You can have it just as. I mean, it looks like uh, what's that? What's that movie? Soylent Green. This definitely doesn't look like egg salad. And this reminds me, we made a carnivore egg salad um a little while ago. I might uh, do an updated egg salad recipe with high quality ingredients. But uh, this <laughs> looks like a new classic, Mary's Test Kitchen. Yeah, they should call every vegan kitchen a test kitchen because. All they are doing is testing a bunch of nonsense. I'm making this tomorrow. Thank you so much. I miss eggs so much. <laughs> so what is it just going to be people praising the recipe and talking about how much they miss eggs? Kind of, kind of sad. What you really crave is animal protein, which is the easiest to utilize by our body is nowhere to be found in this dish. Yes, we know you're kind of, uh, in the wrong club, buddy. You're not going to, find any any help in the vegan comment section oxalates phytoestrogens you would be much better off with real eggs so yeah i mean there's a lot of kind of disinformation misinformation whatever you want to call it anti-nutrients are really a, a good distraction from the chemicals the estrogens the other things that th those powers that be don't want you to know about and real eggs are also kind of horrible because of what they feed the chicken so uh, honestly there, there's no real good solution here from a dietary perspective for most people it's hard to source high quality corn free soy free eggs and to the extent that i just stopped eating eggs 
Um, I'm waiting. Hopefully, I can get my own farm soon and figure some stuff out. But until then, uh, no eggs for Frankie Boy. So this last one with the meatballs, the guy didn't actually make the meatballs. He just kind of did this advertisement at the beginning of his video for this company, Green Chef. And and, and they listed the ingredients. Uh, chia seeds, pinto beans, red onion, roma tomato, lime, breadcrumbs, spice blend, cornstarch, vegan chipotle aioli, spiced vegetable broth, jasmine rice, pepitas, cabbage, and carrots. You know, you're paying a lot of money for these companies to send you a bunch of non-organic, low-quality vegetables without any animal protein. You know, the problem with this, you're going to get leaky gut. You have a lot of anti-nutrients, those agrochemical concerns, the herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides that we try to go organic to alleviate to some degree. And vegetable seed oils are, are present in just about any lower-quality vegan dish. Yeah. And you're not getting animal protein. You're not giving your body any of the nutrition it needs. And, you know, we see standard American dieters in, in pretty poor health, but then when they go vegan, they deteriorate even further. So despite the standard American dieter eating a lot of crap, at least the B vitamins, the animal protein, the cholesterol prevents some of the issues of our modern diet. Vegan completely falls apart. It's like taking a step backwards. So that's going to be it for today. Hopefully this gets some people to realize that they are simply craving animal protein and that no matter how many times these vegan cuckoos make these recipes, they will still have that craving. You know, when a normal person has a craving, they eat the food and the craving goes away. It doesn't stay permanently where they're trying to come up with these laboratory experiment recipes to, to try to fix the craving. But whatever, uh, these people are mentally ill in more ways than one. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Maybe we'll make that farm happen this year. I'm not really sure, uh, but I'm trying my best, guys. See you next time.